Hello. Um, before we start chapter two, I thought I would make like a little bit of a summary of what happened in chapter one. Um, we did have uh, our main character, Susan, got to a sort of space like limbo, kind of between life and death. Uh, there we meet the Queen of Maggots, an old lady who kind of entrusts us, kind of gives us a task and a second chance at life as unwanted as that is for our main character she gives us the task to to eliminate five parasites if i remember correctly yeah i think it's five five parasites uh these people are despicable are awful i just now finished doing like chapter two completely so yeah i can i can attest that they are fucking awful so yeah she gives us that that task uh to take care of them and then it's like okay i send you back uh pretty brutal way to send us back to be fair but anyways now just as i did with the first chapter going to put a little bit of a list of trigger warnings or content warnings um a lot of things happened here if you don't want the trigger warnings or content warnings you can definitely just skip ahead there's no problem with that and if you ever have any problems with any of these uh, topics take care of yourself don't do that don't, don't 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 skip them if you know you have some sort of issue with uh, certain topics uh for now the content warnings are for, again, suicide, drugs, mostly the use of medication. I think that hospitalization and medical neglect, maybe, those are kind of some vibes that I got from this chapter too. Again, psychiatric ward stuff, hallucinations, there's also one part with that. Addiction, maybe? I, I think there was one part that's kind of like someone is addicted to a drug, a more, mostly a, a medication. And then there's also, again, gore, corpses, murder. I'm just looking back and I'm just like, oh god, <laughs> a lot of things happen. Well, this is going to be quite a long um, list. Death is a prevalent topic here. Those are the content warnings for now. With that said, let's continue with the with the game. Okay. Is it seven chapters? It did seem like seven chapters. Second, first breath. Yes, I do enjoy fine art. Thank you for noticing. There's a certain raw beauty to it that modern painters often fail to recreate. I always wanted to be an artist myself, but it'll be a long time before okay. I can call myself that. I often say that patients are my canvas, but my job is more about restoration, obviously. I look at the damaged human mind and bring them back to their former beauty. I'm sorry, I'm probably boring you. No, it's not that. It's just... It's been a difficult couple of days. I'd really like to go home. Of course, and go home you will. As soon as we've done this little assessment, okay, you probably know how it works. I've read in your file you used to be a nurse. Yes, I know very oh, well how okay. it works. You want to check if I'm nuts. Well, I wouldn't use that expression, obviously. But yes, we have to make sure you're safe and figure out how to help you. Also, as a nurse yourself, you know there's always paperwork involved. These forms won't fill themselves. Honestly, Susan, you have nothing to worry about. 
This is just a formality. I could tell straight away that you are not nuts. Fine. What would you like to know? I will answer all your questions. Then I'll go home, take a long shower, and catch up on sleep. Wonderful. Let's see then. Where do we begin? Hmm. She's awake, Doctor. Are we dreaming? Good evening. It's good to see you awake at last. You're in the Cedar Lake Hospital. My name is Andrew. I'm one of the doctors. Could you confirm your name for me, please? Susan Ashworth. It's Susan Ashworth. Hello, Mrs. Ashworth. I'm glad to see you're all right. You're on the ward now. Your condition is stable. I can see your brain functions just fine and there's no permanent damage of any sort. We've checked your internal organs and they're fine too. You're a very lucky lady, Susan. You might experience extreme tiredness and lethargy for a couple of days, but that should soon pass. I would advise plenty of rest now. The nurses on this ward will take it from here. Please let them know if you need anything. Take care, Mrs. Ashworth. Okay. Please, don't try to speak. What did you say? Don't worry, Mrs. Ashworth. Your arm is fine. No, no, no. There was nothing wrong with your arm, darling. Now calm down. Would you like me to get you some water? Let me get you a drink. I'll be back in a second. Hmm. So we're physically fine. I mean, I guess we shouldn't be missing one arm. I'm sorry, Susan. Did I wake you? I have to take your blood pressure. Two seconds and I'm gone. My name is Liz, by the way. I... Hi, Liz. I'm sorry. I know this isn't very nice. Believe me, I hate waking people up just for this. But being a nuisance is part of my stupid job, unfortunately. Oof, I hate this place. Tell you what, Susan. Can I call you Susan? So anyway... I shouldn't say it, <laughs> but you know I'm going to anyway. You are so lucky. It's crazy. You doing what you've done and her walking in, seeing what she saw. Her? That was a chance. One in a million. I'm not making any sense again, am I? I'm tired. They're working us to death here, you know. Modern day slavery. One day I'll tell them what I really think. I swear I will. Ah. And here it is. You've got the blood pressure of an 18-year-old. Just wanted to say you're lucky, I think. And that I hope you've changed your mind about some things. Got to go, but I'll see you later. You take care, sweetheart, yeah? She seems nice. This. Very nice. Up until now, that's the only name we have heard. Aside, aside from ours. Oh. 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 Yeah, a nightmare. Bad dream. <sighs> yeah, a really bad one. Yeah, a really bad one. I knew it. I could see as soon as I came in the room that you were having a nightmare. I guess I shouldn't have woken you up. What was it about? Burnt alive. I was burnt alive. I was burnt alive. Actually, it reminds me of something that happened the other day. <laughs> there was this woman on the emergency oh, unit, and she really wanted to smoke, you know? But they wouldn't let her, of course. She wasn't well at all. Not just injured, but not right in the head. She was on 10 litres of oxygen through the face mask. She had to stay in bed, she was told. But she wouldn't listen, of course. And as soon as they'd left, she lit up a fag. The whole room went up in flames, and so did she. She has no filter. I 
guess you didn't really want to know that, did you? That's just me and my big gob. Typical. I never know when to shut up. What happened to me? What happened to me? Well, how much do you remember? I... I took some pills. And I fell asleep in the chair. I remember how the room kept spinning around me slowly. I felt so calm. And then... All of a sudden, I was on the field, field of barley. I woke up here and saw you. I woke up here and I saw you. Can you now tell me who found me and what happened? Well, your body went into a coma. You were lucky she came home and found you. I told you that before. What? Who found me? Your daughter, of course. Daughter? She called an ambulance. If it wasn't for her, you'd sure be dead now, Susan. My daughter? Yes. Why? Why'd you look so pale all of a sudden, Susan? I don't have a daughter. Whoever she is, she lied. But why would she do that? How should I know? I was in a coma, apparently. So she lied? It doesn't change the fact that you owe her your life. I was fine. I didn't ask for any help. Sorry. Well, yeah, these two people are not on the same page. When will I be, will I be here? When will they let me go home? When will they let me go home? When will they let me go home? I'm not sure. Probably not today. Maybe tomorrow. Look, I shouldn't say that, but you seem like a nice person. I feel like I should warn you. There's this doctor here. They call him Dr. X. Okay. He's a chief of psychiatry in this hospital. You won't be able to go home until he's talked to you. And he... He's really good at getting into your head. You know what I'm saying? He will ask you a lot of tricky questions. But he's a really great guy. You should trust him. Interesting. Tell me more about this Dr. X. Tell me more about this Dr. X. His name is Xavier Zellman, but everyone just calls him Dr. X. He comes on the ward often, usually late in the afternoon or in the evening. I personally really like him, but you hear all sorts of stories in a place like this, you know. I don't know what to believe anymore. All I know is he's been very friendly and supportive. Some doctors won't even say hello to you, but Dr. X usually stops and asks how I am. He knows I have some problems. He can see I'm not happy here. He actually offered me some free weekly sessions. I think I might take him up on his offer. What are they saying about him? Oh yeah, they say he's a big flirt. Nurses, oh. cleaners, patients. He doesn't care, as long as they're wearing a skirt. One girl I knew, Linda. I heard they had an affair. Stupid girl. Well, she left. And I never saw her again. Now, why do you think that is? Dr. X got her knocked up. They covered it up and quietly got rid of her. Probably paid her some money. I don't know how these things work, but it must have been enough to shut her up. I bet he'll be more careful now. But I can't really say a bad word about him, personally. Well, one thing. Maybe. Oh. Don't laugh, okay? He's got a weird smell. What do you mean? He smells funny. I don't know. Maybe it's just bad aftershave. Or maybe it's something he eats. Oh. Thanks for the warning. I'll try not to get too close to him. Now that I think about it, there's something else too. I'll tell you this, Susan. He starts talking to you, and you just open up and tell him everything. It's very odd. I don't exactly hide things from people, but he got some really private stuff out of me. Really hmm. private. You know what I mean? Things I wouldn't tell my mother about, and we haven't even started those sessions yet. So, be prepared for that. Sure. But it's a bit too late for me to hide how I feel now anyway. 
I think I made it very clear when I swallowed those pills. Well, there's more to it than that, though. Did you see this daughter of mine? Did you see this daughter of mine? No, sorry, Susan. Apparently, she came in the ambulance with you. But then she remembered something and had to go. Oh, okay. I think someone mentioned she went in quite a hurry. Of course she did. She was worried I'd ask her what she was doing in my flat. Um, saving your life? Do I really have to give her a benefit of the doubt just because of that? One would assume so. That girl Not is a really. hero. Maybe real heroes always leave before their identity is revealed. Or she was a burglar attempting to steal from me. Hmm. That's a possibility too. Have you got anything very precious in your flat? Maybe. Hmm. Tell me something about yourself. Tell me something more about yourself. Me? I'm a nobody. I'm just a hard-working girl. We all have to pay our bills somehow, right? I rent a room not far from here. There are two other girls living in the house. One is an auxiliary nurse, like me. She's always sick. The other one is a stripper. At least I think so. She's never home at night. Maybe she works at night, like you. Yeah, but I don't leave for work wearing red stockings and heels, do I? No, you're right. You're a real nurse. Not some man's fantasy of one. I used to do all that for my boyfriend. You know, dress up as a sexy nurse and all. Well, I did it just once, really. He didn't like it that much. He didn't like me that much either. Broke up with me last Valentine's Day. Of all the days, he chose that one, eh? He never told me why, but I don't care anymore. Mm-hmm. How long have I been here? How long have I been here? I was told you arrived at the hospital at 7 in the evening. You had a cardiac arrest in the ambulance. They had to resuscitate you. Your heart stopped beating for nearly a minute, mm -hmm. but they managed to bring you back. You went to the intensive care unit where they gave you a dose of antidote and pumped your stomach. As soon as your condition was stable, they brought you on this ward. It's called Dime Ward. Dime. I call it Die Ward because all the patients who come here want to die. It's a suicide watch unit. That's why it's so strict. You have to be careful. Nurses here are trigger happy with the sedatives. Oh no. Oh good. I'm tired. Let me sleep now. We can ask more? Tell me more about this Dr. Wait. X. His name is Xavier Zellman. But everyone just calls him Dr. X. Is it the same? He comes on the ward often. Oh no. Usually late in the afternoon or in the evening. Okay. I personally really like him. But you hear all sorts of stories in a place like this, you know. I don't know what to believe anymore. All I know is he's been very friendly and supportive. Some doctors won't even say hello to you. But Dr. X usually stops and asks how I am. He knows I have some... Oh, it is the same. Problems. He can see I'm not happy here. He actually offered me some free weekly sessions. What are they saying about him? Oh, yeah. Nurses, one girl, oh. stupid. Well, no, Dr. X. I'd better okay. my bed. But I can't... With a space war, I can pass it. Tired. Let me sleep now. I'm tired. Let me sleep now. Fine. I'll see you again. Be careful who you trust here, Susan. They will be watching you. How do I know you're not one of them? <laughs> you don't. Yeah. But do I really look like a bad person to you? I... I don't know. Maybe not. I'll see you tonight. Remember what I said. Dreams are just dreams. But when they turn into nightmares, it's good to have someone there to pinch your arm and wake you up. Right? What was that? We'll start with a little chat about your childhood. I want you to be as honest as possible. It's important if we want to get to the bottom of your problem. Count to ten. And tell me when you're ready, Susan. Okay. 
doctor. Want to wait. Uh, am I able to do something else? That's my... Kind of my question. Not really. Want to... Ready to talk. Okay. This isn't all about whether you're nuts or not, like we said before. It's about finding what has caused how you're feeling now and creating a working solution. In order to achieve that, I need to get to know you better. Can we talk about your childhood first? Your parents. When you're a child, your life revolves around them. What was your father like? Did you have a good relationship with him? Yeah, I had a great, great dad. Yeah, I had a great dad. I have very fond memories of my father. He was always there for me, no matter what I did. He never got angry or upset. I suppose I never really gave him any reasons to be. I was a good child. Not perfect. But then again, no one's perfect. Whatever made me try to kill myself, it definitely has nothing to do with him. Where is he now? He died six years ago. Cancer. Do you miss him? Of course I miss him. How can you even ask me that? It's my job to ask these questions, Susan. Let's talk about your mother now. What was she like? Would you care to tell me about her? Hmm. Wonderful, horrible mother. Let's start when I was still a child. I have a wonderful mom. I can't complain. My mom was great. She brought me up well. Me and her. We were like best friends. Like soulmates. We did everything together. She passed away seven years ago. When Dad first got diagnosed with cancer, it was too much for her. He kept pretending he was fine, but she just couldn't take it. Her heart gave up. She died quickly. My father kept fighting it. Another eight months of illness and intensive chemo finally beat him, though. He thought he was unbeatable, but he wasn't. Okay, I'm beginning to get a better picture. That's enough about your parents for now. Let's take two minutes and we will talk about something else. Okay. So she kind of lost both of them. Out of this place. I hate hospitals. Besides, I really want to go home and forget all about this. Okay. Pillow. Salmon. Just looking at this pillow makes me wonder how many people have died with their heads on it. I'm sure it's been washed many times since then, but it still sends a chill down my spine. Come to think about it, I nearly died here myself. Wait, I did die for a moment, didn't I? Look under. There's nothing interesting under the pillow. Oh, not, not really lie down. I don't really want to sleep here. I'm not tired anyways. Okay. Clock. Needles are stuck at 10.08. It's probably broken. Or maybe it just needs new batteries. Okay. Gloves rack. Examined. Full of latex gloves. Three different sizes. Take. Take one, take a lot of gloves. Take one. So I have one. Interesting. I could take more. Okay, interesting. I'm just going to remember that, but can I move? Take a lot. <laughs> yeah, I have a few. Okay. Sink. Cold water, hot water. Turn tap off. No running right now. Okay, so I can use the sink for something. Drug chart. Read. A list of drugs for patient inside room 2. I guess that's me then. I'm on a lot of sedatives, it appears. The stuff they are giving me could knock out a horse. 
and give it a headache for a week too. It could also cause hallucinations and paranoia. How bizarre. But would anyone give me all that? I'm not crazy. I know that for sure. If anyone's crazy here, it's someone who put me on all this medication for no medical reason. Yeah. Bunch of chrysanthemums. I have flowers. I can take one? No way I'm taking them. I don't like flowers. Especially... Tra chrysanthemums. The font kind of... Um, fucks me there. I don't like flowers. I really don't care what they smell like. Okay. Door. Summon. Siren 2. They must be keeping another suicidal nutcase in there. Read. A list of drugs for patients inside room 1 and some notes. According to this, her name is Anne Burton, 35 years of age. She's, she's taking lots of sedatives and has a long history of drug abuse. It seems that, on top of it all, she's taking methadone for heroin withdrawal syndrome. At the bottom of the page, there's a note saying she's actually a private, private patient who's staying here out of her own free will. Lucky lady. Lucky lady. I guess it won't be so easy for me to leave the, the ward. Enter. Oh, no one here? Examine. Full of latex gloves. Three different sizes. Needles are stuck at 11.40. Are all the crocs broken in this hospital? Okay, wait. We are in room 2. It was 10.08. Right? In room 1. Just in case, you know. <laughs> but possibly we're not going to use this, but... Yeah. Maybe. No. Pillow? Salmon. Dirty looking pillow. Nothing interesting. Okay, yeah, there's no one here, though. Hmm. Oh. People. Is that Liz? Look at. I bet she thinks those red rim glasses make her look attractive. I know her kind all too well. Completely dedicated to her job. Yet totally brainless and close-minded. Talk to you. I'd like to go home now. Is Liz here? I would like to go home now. I'd like to go home now. Well, so would I. But there are procedures and a system in place. Okay. I can't just let you go like that. What? Look, I'm very busy at the moment. I'll come and talk to you in a minute, alright? Huh. Can you please dis I feel discharge much me? Better now. Can you please discharge me? I'm glad to hear that. But I can't discharge you until Dr. X sees you. Okay. He should be doing his round very soon. Please return to your bed and wait for him, alright? Oh. Letter. Read. It's a discharge letter from Anne Burton, currently a patient inside room 1. It seems she has admitted, has admitted herself into hospital and is allowed to leave whenever she wishes. Huh. I'm not sure. I don't think I can take it, but... Please do not touch these. Okay. They are all confidential documents. Yeah? Well, maybe you shouldn't leave them out on the desk for everyone to see. Yeah. If you are looking for something to read, we have some magazines for patients here. Thanks, but I think I'll pass. Okay, so I think I need to get that. Folders? Did he scare the living shit out of me, the two dudes there? This might be patient files. They are piled up on the desk. I don't think I should take I could take them. Please do not touch these. <laughs> they are all confidential okay. documents. I was only going to tidy up. I'm sorry. Are you one of the housekeepers? Why did you dress up as a patient? I just can't stand mess, that's all. And there's no need to be sarcastic. Yeah. Who's being sarcastic? You. You're being fucking disrespectful. Security. Talk to? Excuse me, where's the exit? Excuse me, where's the exit? It's just down the corridor, ma'am. Thanks. I'll be on my way then. Can I see the discharge letter first? 
A discharge letter? Okay. What for? Some of our patients are under observation and aren't allowed out of the ward. For their own safety, of course. It sounds like we're prisoners here. It's for the patient's safety, ma'am. If you haven't been discharged by the doctors, I'm afraid I can't let you through. May I ask what your name is? Hmm. Susan Ashworth. We'll come back I'll later. I'll come back later. Please do, ma'am. We'll be right here. You can go. Sorry, ma'am. Can't let you through. Yeah. We'll need to see a discharge letter from your doctor first. Right. It seems that a discharge letter is the only ticket out of here. Seems like it is. This one. This one right here. So, oh. Band. Examine. Clip on hospital wristband. It's got my name, date of birth, and hospital number on it. Huh. Okay. I didn't examine that before. Let's go to the other side now. Oh, must be the patient from side room too. God, doesn't she look confused? Are you okay? She looks younger. Look at another suicidal patient. Strange, she looks like someone I know. Maybe, talk. Hi, are you alright? Can we talk for a minute? I can't talk. Please, just leave me alone. Oh, I see. I mean you no harm. I'm trapped here, just like you. Trapped? I don't know. It's just so hard to think without it. But you're a stranger. And you're without not it? one of those lovely nurses either. They look after me so well. I trust the nurses like I trusted my mother. I just want to talk. I need your help. Unless it's mother who sent you. Was it her? Please tell me it was her. Um, yeah, sure. I'm a good friend of your mother. Mm. I miss her so much. I can't remember you very well. But you should know this. If you really are a friend, you will know my mother's name. Oh. The name that haunts me. A beautiful name. Yeah, sure I do. Now, let me ask you. What is it? Oh, well... What is my mother's name? Hmm... Uh... Joanne, Mary, Elizabeth, Mandy, Sarah, Alice, I don't know. Anne Burton. Anne Burton, I think, I think it's her, right? I don't know. At this point, I think it's better to say I don't know and then come back. I don't know. No, of course you don't. Leave me alone. Please, just leave me alone. Okay, so... Look at... Yeah, I can only look at her and talk to her, so... Door? Examine. It's a toilet door. Okay. Enter. She was here, right? She was in the... In the toilet. Bin? Looks like it hasn't been emptied for a while. There are lots of discarded medication pots in there, among other gross stuff. This is such an awful place. Look at the state of this bathroom, it's awful. I'll take one of these medication pots. Oh, okay. Note. Read. Please stop writing messages on the mirror. While we are currently experiencing difficulties maintaining high level High level uh, difficulties maintaining high level of clean cleanliness due to sudden absence of our cleaning staff. We ask all patients to be considerate and help us keep the ward tidy. Messages in the mirror. Sink. Okay, wait. No. Assistance. Toilet. Look at. Rather filthy. Flush. Open lid. Look at. Rather filthy. Huh. Maybe we need to do something with that sink. Oh, hot water. Let's do that. Let's that. 
Exam. Can't look at myself. The mirror is cracked. The large shard glass is lying on the side. Take the shard. If I find it on me, they will think I'm a complete psycho. But I think I might be useful too. I'll risk it. I thought maybe the... Like... Turn off? Hmm. Cold? Like all of them? Interesting. I thought maybe, like, they were saying something in the note, right? That they were writing messages on the mirror? Yeah, I thought maybe it would come up if I, if I did that, but... I feel like I should be able to do this now. Open. Oh, maybe... Maybe the message is on the bathroom, but it's actually on the other sinks. There were sinks in these ones too, right? Sink. Oh, but there's no mirrors here. Turn tap off. No. Can I use like something like this? Don't need it right now. You're quite heavy, actually. Heavy? Hmm. Patient. I do think I need to do something here, though. Can't look at myself. What? Should I just leave it for a moment? Then enter again? Like maybe some time passed? And now it works? Or do I need to change something in particular? Note, mirror, do I, oh, ale, ale, wait, mirror says ale, okay, so, oh, What were the options that she gave us? Ill or lie if you want to look at it some other if you way. You really are a friend. You will know my mother's name. Hill. The name that haunts me. Beautiful, beautiful name. But I know it. Let Alice, Sarah, Mandy. The thing is that ale is not, right? Because none of these have anything that I uh, don't No, leave me alone. For now? Yeah, just do that. Let me think. Ring bell. There's also to say impress, I don't think I... Wait. Use flash up a little closely. Uh... Can we use any of these? Yes. Oh! Um... Do we clog the toilet? Yes, we do. Oh. Look at 
for the filthy. Uh, maybe call someone. Is for something? Someone is coming. Have you rang the bell? Is there an emergency? The toilet's blocked. What? Ah, oh, well, that's hardly an emergency. It is when you need to use it urgently, like I do. I see. Fine, I'll sort it out. Oh, so she Just comes here. Ah, oh, it's the gloves. Again! I guess I'll have to get my hands dirty, since the cleaner's called in sick. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you do that. Yes, that's exactly what I need to finally go home. Okay. Don't need the folders. I think she she went back there. Yeah, so... Do I have the... Um, examined? This is my ticket out of here. Unfortunately, it's on Anne Burton's name. I have to somehow trick those guards into thinking I am Anne. We do actually look quite similar. Okay, so that's kind of what we need to do. Okay, I'm still thinking about the mirror. Ale. Ale. It wasn't you who did it, was it? No. I don't know what you're talking about. Someone just stuck a bunch of... Well, I guess it doesn't matter. It's sorted now. I just hope it's the last time I've put my hands in that stinking toilet. Oh well, yeah, it's not, it's not a, a pleasant thing to do. Even less if it's clogged. Let me see if I need to do anything here again. <laughs> Something looks like it hasn't been emptied for a while. Anything else? Or is it got one? Yeah. Not really. Use? Can't think of any use for it here. Okay. Yeah. Don't think I need to do anything else in the bathroom, actually. But, um... Hmm. If you really are a friend, then I... But I know... It's not... Elizabeth? Elizabeth. No. You're wrong. You're, leave me alone. Okay, so Please, it's not... Just leave me alone. Maybe it all gives you, like, all you really wrong. Are a friend. The night but I... Let me see Alice. Alice. No. Alice You're is wrong, wrong too, okay. Leave me alone. Please. Those two were, just like, mine. My, the ones that I was thinking about, but... It's not really... So disposable medication pod and the start charge letter. Very sharp. Oh, do we exchange like the wristbands? Okay, maybe yeah, maybe we do that. Have to do something with the flowers. Yes. No. Let me think. Let me go this way. Patient files and then there's the two dudes. I feel like yeah, the the, the answer should be on the mirror. Just doesn't really change. Try 
need to see if it changes with anything, but I look at myself. Is it really? Sink? Nothing else? Okay. I'm cold? Maybe? Maybe I just need to... Maybe I need to come in and out a few times. <laughs> I know I'm getting like super fix fix fixated on it. But I'm just like well something has to happen with it. still press this hmm someone is coming yeah have you rang the bell is there an emergency oh I just want to okay press it by mistake interesting I feel a bit woozy I mean, these ones are just. Okay, you know what? Let's just try this one, I'm just in case. Feeling a bit woozy. Are you really? You look fine to me. No, I I'm really not feeling well. Fine, I'll call the doctor for you. But I can't help it if he's busy and can't get here straight away. Okay. In the meantime, I know how to make you feel better. I think it's time we give you some medication. Can you please tell me your name and your date of birth? Kidding me, mind your own business and have your name so I can make a fake back complaint. Anne Burton, no, they are going, they know who I am, I think. Susan Ashworth, 24th of May, 1970. Susan Ashworth, 24th of May, 1970. I'm just going to check your name band now to confirm that. Yeah, because I still don't have the other, the That's other fine. band. That's fine. I'd like you to drink this liquid, please. It will help you relax. It will help you relax. Okay. Refuse. Take them. Why not? That's a good girl. Now, drink it down. You'll feel much better. Does it just put me to sleep? They did say that I was in a lot of rest. sedatives. You'll be able to relax and have a great sleep. Okay, so it is a sedative. Oh, wait. Wait. Sha. Shiva. Interest. Okay, yeah, no, I. This is not good. What is this? Oh, God. Side room one. This is where I'm staying. Hopefully not much longer. Enter. Oh, is this like a Frambo kind of situation? Oh, I just flopped down. to sleep I the drugs have worn off and I feel better now but I can't let them do that to me again I need to get out of here okay what did I gain from that oh the name <laughs> I am an idiot sorry 
Hi. If you really are a friend, you will know my mother's name. The name that haunts me. A beautiful name. A beautiful yeah. name. But I know it. Sheila. Sheila. Yes. It was my mother who sent you, after all. I'm sorry I didn't believe you. But my head's all messed up. So, let's have a little chat, sweetheart. Do you know how to get out of here? Do you know how to get out of here? We're not supposed to get out. We must stay here. Do what they say. Take pills they give us. Sometimes, if I behave, they give me the red stuff. Oh, the red stuff. I wait stuff. for it. What? I'm being good. Okay. What is this red stuff? It's a drug. My favorite one. Okay. Red stuff takes the pain away. I must stay here. Good nurses have been most kind. They always remember. They know I'm suffering. But it is not the same as the drugs I see in my dreams. On the other side of the mirror, there's a spider's heart full of drugs. I just can't seem to find it anymore. I see. Spider's heart. What exactly is this little treat you mentioned? Feel like Sharon? What's your name? How about we swap our name bounds? What's exactly this little treat you mentioned? What exactly is this little treat you mentioned? Is it just a repeat of information? It's a red teardrop of pure happiness. They bring it, I drink it down, and my pain goes away. Okay. Without it, I just feel so angry. Uh -huh. It's like I'm going crazy. <laughs> it's funny, but... I just get so fucking angry sometimes. I'm dying, I think. We're all dying, I heard. She said I'd go to hell for it, but I didn't do anything. I didn't know. Does he know? Who? Him! Right. Okay. No, probably not. I need the red medicine. I need it now. Okay, I so we need to get girl. I must be that a nice for her. Girl. Maybe I could get you some of that stuff. Do you know where they keep it? Oh, they have it hidden well. You can't get there. Or maybe you can. Okay. I see it in my dreams sometimes. It's where the nurses are. But in my dream, there are no nurses there. I see it, but I can't get it. It's so near and yet so far. Okay. I can still hear the broken heartbeat of the spider's heart. Are you alright? Feel like sharing. How about we swap our name bands? How about we swap our name bands? Oh yeah, I don't mind. But that would be like a favor to you, yeah? Well, technically you wouldn't lose anything. Uh -huh. Because I'd give you my name band instead. Does that make any sense? Sure, yeah. I do want something better in return, though. I'm not that stupid. I know you'll use it to get out of here. Oh, I never said you're stupid. I... I just really want to go home. Please understand. That's fine. I don't mind. I'll give it to you if you get me the red stuff. What do you say? Okay. I thought nurses give it to you anyway. No, not that. I'm talking about the real thing. Something you can only get in the world of dreams. Okay. Now that is something special. Is it safe? It's perfectly safe. Um, okay. I'll see what I can do. Very well. I'll talk to you later, okay? I'll talk to you later, yeah? Yes. Go. Be careful. They're watching us. And remember, we must be nice to earn the red stuff. Always be nice. Okay, always be nice. Yeah. Does it change anything? Can I make a phone call for much better? No, not really. Doesn't really make much of a difference. Oh, I can get out of here. Is okay. Liz here? And 
that you're black. Uh, I can't. Okay. Can you return to your bed? It's. I can't beg your pardon. Look, I'll come. Maybe yeah, I need to go to the bathroom again and get it there. I mean, if it worked once, maybe it works twice. Let's just see. Press. Be nice, be nice. Someone is coming. It's pretty fucking scary how they give you that so easily. Have you rang the bell? Is there an emergency? Just wanted to remind you. Yeah, I'm feeling a bit woozy I'm feeling again. A bit woozy. Are you re You look fine to me. No, I I'm really not feeling well. Fine, I'll call the doctor for you. But I can't help it if he's busy and can't get here straight away. In the meantime, I know how to make you feel better. I think it's time we give you some medication. Can you please tell me your name and your... Yeah. Susan Ashworth. Twin I'm just going to check... That's fine. That's fine. I will help you relax. Yeah, take them. That's a good girl. You'll feel much better. Okay, and this time, don't go to sleep. Yet. Now, go back to your room and rest. You'll be able to relax and have a great sleep. Oh, good. the door to my room. Anything else here? Can't enter the bathroom anymore. What is that noise? Ah, ah. Narcotic heart. Can't go anywhere here. Okay. Examine. It's so hard to concentrate. Is this thing filled with drugs? Oh god. Uh, can I use this? Yeah, seems like, yeah, I can use that. Then... Use? I'll fill it with this drug. Yes. Yeah, it is. Okay. Okay, don't really need, need to use... Uh, I need to use any of this, okay? Can't examine it anymore. The shadow scared me. This big shadow here. Okay. Maybe then lay down. So we give Liz the drugs. Liz, no, uh, Anne. The drugs have worn off and I feel better now. But I can't let them do that to me again. I need to get out of here. Yeah. Not any, not, not, not even once more. Yeah. Uh, talk to? So, let's have a little... Uh. About these name bands. Oh yeah, I don't mind. We can swap our name bands, but to remember, it's hidden. It's right there, in the world of dreams, the world of nightmares. I'll talk to you I'll later. To you. Yes, they're watching us, and remember, always. Yeah, always be nice. Just get. Yeah, I should have uh, used it instead of talking to her. Drink. No. Give. I've found the thing you asked me for, but are you absolutely certain it won't harm you? Don't be silly. Of course it won't. Fine. I hope you know what you're doing. Can I have your name band now, please? Yes. No matter what they say, I do keep my promises. What do they... You know what? It doesn't matter. Thank you for your help. 
Thank you very much, Sam. Okay, so now I have gloves or something. And I have this. Examine. Clip on hospital name band. And Jennifer Burton. Okay. Should be able to leave now. Sorry, ma'am. Can't let you through. We'll need to see a discharge letter from your doctor first. Here. Are you happy now? Yes, that seems fine. Can I just check your name band to confirm that you are indeed Anne Burton? Oh, all right. I didn't realize you knew how to read. Oh, there God. You go. Can I go now? Of course. Thank you, ma'am. We'll see you soon. No, you won't. Now get out of my way. She's, she's pretty rude, actually. Simon? Strange room, room door. Enter. Okay, locked. It's a door to some office. So don't want to get caught, actually. Time word, maternity word. Exit is this way. Oh. And you must be Susan Ashworth. No. Um, well, perhaps I am. Do you mind if I ask you where you're heading to? I was just going for a little walk, stretch my legs, get some fresh air. Fuck. Give it a rest. I'm not going anywhere. Miss Ashworth, please relax. There's been a mistake. You have been prescribed wrong medication. I apologize sincerely on behalf of my team and the hospital. But luckily, we managed to spot it on time. On time? You have no idea what I've been through? Once again, I'm truly sorry. I promise no more drugs will be given to you. I personally guarantee you will have a good, peaceful sleep tonight. And you can be discharged in the morning. Why can't I go tonight? I want to go now! I'm really sorry, but we can't legally discharge suicidal patients without a full psychiatric assessment so they actually don't know if they can discharge me the now, next day but either i promise we'll have a chat in my office first thing in the morning okay and then you can go home is that all right i haven't really got much choice have i no it doesn't seem like it now i'd like to ask you some questions about your life susan you might find them very personal, but it's important that you answer me as honestly as possible. Fine. Let's get it over with then, shall we? I'd like to go home at last. Of course, I understand. So, Susan, let's see. Are you living alone at the moment? Yeah, I think. The rent of flats quite lonely. On my own, it's just me just fine. I'll be with a friend. No, not really. I live on my own and it suits me just fine. Rent a flat, quite lonely most of the time. Yeah, no, I live on my own and it suits me quite fine. I live on my own and it suits me just fine. I don't need anyone. People mostly bore me. Sometimes they annoy me or upset me. I'm happy with how things are at the moment. I have my little bit of space, and it's my own. It's private. I'd like to keep it that way. What do you do for a living? Doing jobs. I'm a waitress. I work in a cafe. Hmm. A waitress. I work in a cafe. I'm a waitress. I work in a cafe. You do? Do you like it? It's okay. I don't mind it. It's just a job. It's important to keep busy. I'd advise you get back to work as soon as next week. I will. Describe to me what your mornings look like. What is the first thing you do each day? Hmm. Breakfast, cereal, cup of tea, read the newspaper, lay down in bed. 
go to the toilet, put the TV. To be fair, this is me. <laughs> Takes a long time to wake up. Uh, I think this one actually suits her better. Drink strong coffee and smoke on the balcony. I drink strong coffee and smoke on the balcony. I know it's not a great start for the day, but it's one of my little pleasures in life that I find very hard to say no to. Would you say that you feel safer at home than outside? Yeah. I suppose. I... Yeah, I suppose. It's not really about safety. I've just felt sad for a long time now. Really sad, you know? Somehow it brings me down even more when I go out and see all those happy, successful people. It makes me feel more like a failure if I don't see it. It doesn't hurt that much. What do you think is missing in your life? Or rather, what is one thing that you think would make your life better? Be nice to have more money, I guess. A good friend. I know it's silly, but I wish I was better looking. Something to fight for. A good friend. Someone I could finally trust. A good friend. Someone I could finally trust. But I can't see anyone will turn up anytime soon. I've become a social hermit. People avoid me. You'll have to try to open up a bit. Hopefully the suicide watch worker will work with you on that. Don't think it'll help much. I heard they're not very good. Really? Sorry to hear that. Have you ever attended group therapy for depression or some other form of counseling? Hmm. No, I'm not sure it's a good idea. No, I'm not sure it's a good idea. Especially the group therapy thing. I'd hate it. You should at least give it a go first, and then decide. If you don't like it, we can think of something else, yeah? If you insist. But I doubt it'll help. Do you have problems sleeping? Mm. She hasn't mentioned anything about this, I think. It's all like... Our choice. So rarely, I sleep well most rarely. nights. Rarely, I sleep well most nights. If anything, I probably sleep too much. Would you describe for me how you feel at the moment? Feel fine, definitely better. Yeah, like the whole world look good. Definitely better from before the accident. Definitely better than before the accident good hopefully you can now move on from here with a bit of luck you will enjoy life again suicide attempts often have that effect on people same as near-death experience it makes you realize that you're not ready to die yet do you find it hard to concentrate every single day of my life yes sometimes yes sometimes do you drink alcohol, Susan? Only some sometimes. Only sometimes. I'd suggest you don't consume any alcohol at all for a while. Does that sound like something you can do? Yeah, sure. I'm not a big drinker anyway. Sometimes when life gets too much and people feel sad or upset, they think about suicide. Do you often think about suicide? I don't think. I don't know what got into me. I think it kind of fits her that some sort of something. That... <sighs> Let's go with the second one. Well, I used to think about it sometimes. Well, I used to think about it sometimes. Don't you think about it when you're really down? Susan, I'm a psychiatrist. My job is to talk people out of it. Well, doesn't you mean you're an exception. If he ever thinks about setting fire to his house? I suppose There was not. a case of it. But I'm sure lots of people have times when they do think about it. I couldn't say, Susan. The statistics show that men are three times more likely than women to commit suicide. 
that puts you in the minority. But of course, that's missing the point. Suicide is never the solution. There's always a way of solving whatever problem you might have. I realize that now. Please, in your own words, try to explain to me why did you really try to take your own life, Susan? On the surface, he looks super kind. But I don't know why, but I get like super condescending vibes from him. I don't like it. Just a sudden impulse. Nothing was making me happy. Wanted to show everyone her hurt. Nothing was making me happy Nothing anymore. Nothing was making me happy anymore. There wasn't a single thing that would bring a smile to my face. I kept thinking, won't it be better if I just disappear? I tried. I really tried to find something. Took a long bath. Picked up a book. Watched some television. But I just couldn't get into anything. All those things seemed like worthless distractions. And I myself felt obsolete. Needless. It just would get worse and worse. By the afternoon, I realized I cried for the past three hours. I... I didn't even know I'd been crying until I went to the bathroom and saw my face in the mirror. I looked like a ghost. I looked like I was dead already, you know? And then I saw the sleeping pills. I thought, why not? And I did it. Do you feel as if you're a burden? Or that life isn't worth living? Sometimes, when I feel really low. Sometimes, when I feel really low, I just... I used to think everyone would be happier without me, but I guess people don't really care. Besides, I live alone. Who could I be a burden to? What makes you feel better? My cats. Work used to make me happy. But you're sick. My cats. My cats. I always put out a bowl of food for the stray cats. They're ever so grateful. I like their company. What makes you feel worse? People hate when it rains, noise, loneliness. Loneliness. I wish I had someone to talk to sometimes. Loneliness. I wish I had someone to talk to sometimes. And yet you seem to avoid people. Because they're only interested in themselves. Not all of them, surely. I'm beginning to think you are actually afraid of finding a friend because it would force you to come out of your shell. Call it what you like. I'll sure be glad when I find the right person someday. Have you imagined your funeral and how people will react to your death? No, I never really thought about that. Oh, I never really thought about that. But I guess it would be a cheap one. I don't really know what they do with people like me. Maybe they just throw us in a hole and forget about it, since there'd be nobody to visit my grave anyway. I don't think so, Susan. The city would pay for it. Or so they want people to believe. Finally, I'd like you to tell me about Eric. Eric? Eric? Yes, your husband. I believe this might be important. Oh. What can you tell me about your relationship? What had happened between you two? I don't really want to talk about this. It has nothing to do with him. There's nothing to talk about. It's getting late. I don't really want to talk about I... I don't really want to talk about this. Hmm. Fine. I suppose you've opened enough for one day. Okay. One more question. This is just a formality, but I have to ask, are you going to do it again? That's a hard one. I don't know. But hey, I've got it. The answer is no, I'm not. <laughs> Thank you very much. Excellent. We are nearly done here. There's just one more thing I must clear with you. What exactly happened last night? Well, after I'd met you outside the ward yesterday, I went back to my room 
and fell asleep. I slept really Yesterday? well, considering what happened earlier. But then someone woke me up. It was the same nurse who was so friendly with me the first night. She said we needed to talk. This? We must go, Susan. You are not safe here. But... Please, you must follow me. Quickly. Okay. Oh, I can move. Okay. I went after her. The ward seemed very quiet. It must have been late at night. Hurry! Wait for me. Tell me what's going on here. What happened? Why is she suddenly asking us to follow her? The security guys were gone. She pointed at the corridor and said, You go first. I'll explain everything in a minute. Okay. Credit go. Susan, if we don't escape now, they're going to hurt you. Please trust me. I know a way out of here. I'll help you escape. Let's go down this corridor. I'll be right behind you. Okay. She's not coming with me. Accidents and emergencies. I think I can hear someone coming. Damn it! We can't go through there. Let's turn back, Susan. I know another way. Okay. Turn left here. We can use the maintenance lift to get us out of this place. What? Go. What happened? What set her off this way? Button? Call it? Enter? What are we doing on the roof? Liz. On the roof? I thought we were on the ground. What the hell are you doing? No. And why, why is she bloody? Blood on your clothes? Liz. It's quicker than the stairs. And besides, all the doors are locked anyway. This is the only way out of here. The only escape. Let's both jump. It won't hurt, you'll see. This is a bad idea. Come down and we will talk. This is a bad idea. Come down and we'll talk. I've made up my mind. I need to end this suffering now. Besides, I have no one to live for anyway. No one ever listened to me. No one ever cared. I listened. You're a nice girl. You have your whole life ahead of you. You listened. Did you really? Of course I did. You talk a lot, but I've always been a good listener. I liked talking to you. So do you remember that story then? The one I told you the other night? The one about the woman in A and E? Oh fuck. Uh A and E. She disappeared and was light of found that no, the one who kicked security no. Jumped off the roof. Actually I don't think it uh, smoked a cigarette and burned in bed. Yeah, she smoked a cigarette. And I think. Burned in bed. Okay, you have listened. Maybe you're right. Or maybe it was just a blind guess. No, I actually did. But I must jump anyway. Remember that. I have no choice. Wait, please stop and think for a second. <laughs> did you not hear what I said? I have no choice. Yes, you do. You can choose to come back inside with me, and we'll just forget this like it never happened, okay? Do you remember that other thing I told you? I'm sure I told you about my flatmates. Did I tell you what one of them does for a living? I bet you don't remember that. A waitress, a stewardess, a burglar, a stripper. She's a stripper. Yes. Or at least that's what I think she is. You've listened! 
I just wish other people did. I'm sure they do. It can't be that bad. It what can do you be. Know? Why do you care anyway? I don't want you to make the same mistake I did. I thought you of all people knew how it feels when you're trapped and you can't trust anyone. Look, I'm sure there must be someone who cares about you. My colleagues don't care. My family don't care. Even my fucking boyfriend never cared. He said he needed to go find himself. Did I tell you when he broke up with me? Valentine's? On Valentine's Day. Yes. Valentine's Day. You and I could have been good friends, you know. You really listened to everything I said Fuck, after get all. down from there. I, Come on. I'll be back. When you need help, I'll be there, Susan. No. But right now. It's time for me to let go. No. Fuck. And I got everything right. Okay. I really couldn't do anything about that. After that, I went back. <sighs> I tried telling people about Liz, but they all thought I was crazy again and didn't believe me. And you were absolutely sure you saw Liz jump off this building? You know, it doesn't matter. I just want to finish this and get some fresh air. Susan, I know Liz well. She wouldn't do something like that. As a matter of fact, I saw her this morning. She's fine. I'd like you to come with me and see her. Say hi. Make sure she's alright. Stop what? treating me like I'm crazy. Fine. I'll go. I don't even care that much anyway. The door is locked? I plan ahead, Susan. I had a feeling in my gut, mm -hmm. and my gut's never wrong. I feel like I really got to know you, though. I'm very sorry you've had such a difficult life. I like your green eyes and your <gasps> sleek cheekbones. No, no. You're a clever girl. Can I, can I leave? But the oh, I skipped the text. <laughs> for what it's worth, I would have let you go if it wasn't for Liz. You did not. Good question. Oh. oh, that's beautiful. I like that. Hi, girl. What? Wonder what it does. Oh. doors. I can't see them. Just walk back to the right side of the stage. I feel it is Susan can't miss them. Okay. This way. Oh fuck that. Does Susan like my girls? I knew she would. Well you're fucking wrong. 
whatever they are, tell them to stop staring. But they are yet to guide, Susan. They are the guardians of the doors. They know which doors you should enter to get the rewards. But there is one problem. There's always a problem. I'm not even surprised. Which door should I go through? I will leave that to Susan's own best judgment. But this might be her only chance to find what she had lost. Okay. Susan has one question. And she can only ask one of them. She must use it wisely. Fine. I can do that. But what's the catch? It's very simple. One of my girls always tells the truth. Oh no. And the other one always lies. Okay. And I'm guessing you can't tell me which is which? It's something I've forgotten myself a long time ago, Susan. Well, does it really matter? What I'm questioning is all Susan needs to find the right door. I fucking hate to admit it, but I'm awful at this. I'm really bad at this. Okay, doll. Examine. I wish it had stopped staring at me. Can I book it? <laughs> That'll teach you to stop staring, you horrible, ugly well, doll. Well, no, there's no reason to call them that, Susan. Okay. I hate how they move. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. One always tells the truth and the other one always lies, okay? Okay. Start with ask. Oh no, which door will take me back to my world? Is the door to the left? The right? Which door would the other door point me to? Oh fuck. Okay, so I need to... Oh god, no. <laughs> See, I hate this so much. Wait, um... Is the other door a liar? Thing is that both of them are going to say yes. The one that says the truth is going to say yes. And the one that says the lies is going to say yes. So that doesn't really help. And I only got, have one question to do, so that, that wouldn't make sense. If I enter the left door, will I get my reward? Which door would the other doll point me to? Is the door to the left the one I should open? Is the door on the right? Which door will lead me to my reward? See, on that case, they're going to say two different things. Is the door to the left the one I should open? Which door would the other doll point me to? I hate this fucking thing. Which door? Which door would the other doll point me to? Oh, the one that says... No way. Yeah, if I ask that one. Right? The one that says all, that always says the truth will tell me a lie, then. For example, if it was the word on the right, the one that always lies would say left, like the other one's going to say left. And the one. I'm getting so confused. Wait. Wait. Ah. <laughs> uh, Fuck. If my reward is on the right, right? And I need to pick that one. The truth. I am awful at this, sorry. I am bad. Which door would the other doll point me to? The truth is most likely going to tell me that the lie is going to tell me to go left. And the lie is going to say that the truth will point me left. 
so I should be right. But you know what? Which door would the other doll point me to? Which door would the other doll point me to? Did he say something? Oh, it kind of lights up. And I cannot... Okay, so then maybe I should call on this one? Did I fucking do it or not? <laughs> is, is this supposed to be my reward? Oh, I flowers. was right. Okay. I hate flowers. You lied to me. You lied. Did they? Like it. It's your real thing. There will be anything precious waiting for you here. Look at the lovely roses. Just like everything else in the world. They just turn into ash. Well, fuck you, crow. here I have to blow one out Fuck. okay second one like I suppose that's the oh is it someone from the ward that we were just in does look like they have the same gown same place yeah oh god no one got in no one went to her Body bag. What? Why not? Examine. What? Should I have opened that? Okay. Okay, me again. the best condition you treacherous dirty bastard I opened my heart to you and you stabbed me to death in cold blood you'll pay for this I swear you will but this means the old woman was right I can't die I'm immortal. I think it's time to find out how very mortal you are, Doctor. Oh, that was a very cool line. <laughs> there we go. Um, I have just taken quite a break. So, yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> That's going to be a lot to do here. Examine. Piece of sharp iron bar is stuck in the girl's chest. Take item bar. Okay. So it is sharp item bar I found stuck in the dead body of a girl. Okay. Could use it as a weapon. If only I could make it longer. I need to find a way to extend it. Okay. Very well. He brings his victims down here in a hospital body bags. Huh. So there's nothing else I can do there. It's the suicide note I wrote. Why would he put it up in the wall? Okay, yeah. Same thing as the... As the beginning. Le uh, the letter from the beginning. 
another unlucky victim of the killer. This one looks like it's, she's been dead for a long time. Interesting. So we have... Not much... Okay. Hi! Old rusty door. Open. It wasn't even locked? Well, of course. I'm not a prisoner here. He thought I was dead. You should never take things for granted, Doc. Because this might just be the biggest mistake you have ever made. She's cool. Oh yeah, this is just controlled by the keyboard. Okay, so suppose she has some... <laughs> oh, that got me. Oh, that got me. <laughs> oh god. I've seen something like this before. Living paintings. Except this here is a dead body, suspended on wires and tied to a chair. Huh? That's... That's pretty awful from the doctor. You're gonna pay for this, you bastard. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. Seems he used a lot of makeup to turn her into this spitting image of Mona Lisa. Enter. Okay. Skeleton. A thick skeleton. He had probably been used for teaching before it ended up here. Bolt? A large metal bolt lies on one of the shelves. Take? Why not? A long steel bolt. I don't think I can use it with anything. Easel? The doctor probably considers himself quite an artist. I mean, it could be. I could probably make a weapon here. Ah, okay. Huh. Can I... Yes. Yes. I, I had to get, like, all the parts. Okay. Can I go back? Ah, uh, return to the room. Okay. Oh, I'm going, like, towards the screams. I thought I was going the other way. <clears throat> Examine. Another poor victim of the mad doctor. There's something shiny on one of the, her fingers. Look at the hand. Oh, a metal nut is stuck on her finger like a ring. I could put it off if the finger wasn't so swollen and stiff. Okay, so I need something for that. Go with a pearl earring. Her limp body is positioned in the exact same way as the painting. It seems the killer used wire to keep her head tilted to the side. This is awful. Locker? Rusty metal locker. Open. Let's open it quietly. Wrench. It's a wrench. Might be useful. Take. I doubt he could hear anything at this point. I don't need eyes to enjoy your fear. Scream louder, little bitch. Scream your lungs what out. What the fuck? Louder, I said. Oh, that's, yes, that's a lot. But this is by far my favorite of songs. Would you like me to dance for you? Unlike you, I know all art needs to be appreciated. Your scream is like a poem without words. Oh god. He's wearing a mask and a blindfold. He's convinced I'm dead and no one knows about this place. It looks like you just made a big mistake, you arrogant asshole. Your body. An instrument. <gasps> I never thought you had it in you. And yet you make every fiber in my mm, body no. tremble with excitement. Your body will forever be admired. 
by those like me who understand the only pure and true form of art. Huh? Ay, ay, ay. Can I leave? Can I leave? Can I get out of here? I don't want to see you. Thrust. Attack. Okay. Look at... It would just send me to the same thing I would believe, so no. Let me see if I can get something else. Wait. Okay, no. Uh, can I actually just use this? Okay, elsewhere. Okay. That door I already went in. This is where we came out of. Chair. If I don't find anything else, maybe I can use this chair as a weapon? Not really. I don't think so. Wait. Enter. Oh. Sink. Hot water. Time. Okay. Soap. There's an old bar of soap on one of the shelves. Take. No, it smells only of dust and dirt. Yes. Covered in leather now. Might be useful for something, I guess. Maybe to take the ring down? Oh, wait. So blade. Very sharp. Take. Yes, let me take everything. You know what? Just uh, cancel the... There you go. Nothing else, right? Okay. I think I can take the... Oh, God. Examine. His body is quite badly decomposed already. While real art lasts forever, doctor's models will soon rot and fall apart. That sick man. How did he manage to hide all this madness? I guess he couldn't get a hold of an air mine, so he used this pretty baby doll instead. I can take the head? I could probably some find some use for this. Why though? <laughs> Could be used as a weapon. Creepy doll's head has got a hole at the bottom where it was attached to the torso. Okay. I try to remember that. It seems this place has been closed down a long time ago. One day when they eventually demolish it, all the evidence will get buried deep under the piles of rubble. But they will have to investigate it, right? And make sure no one's inside. This must be the only way out of here. I don't think... I'm, no, I'm not even going to enter, actually. Key? Oh, no. What? A key? To this prison right next to the door? Would the doctor be stupid enough to just leave it here? I mean... Please. No. God. Miss Lias. But it's impossible. I spoke to her last night. I tried to stop her from jumping. And yet, here she is. Stuck on a metal rod, looking like she's been dead for a lot longer than that. What happened then? Was it just a dream? Am I really going crazy or... Was she really there? Just... already dead? Ooh, either that or... Or we take quite a while to revive search body. Pockets are empty. Take her down. Hope at least you will find some peace in death. Yes. I'm not even touching that door. I think I have quite a lot of things that I need, so... I need to get to the Venus. I'm sorry, I don't know your name, so I had to do that. Oh no, no, don't look at the hand. Wait. Yes. Yeah. I do think it's going to be way worse 
to take that in real life. So I don't think it would be that easy. So yeah. Wait. No, this has an order. Should I use this? There. Then I think I should use the bolt. Yes. It needs to be secured in place. And that's why we get the nut. Now I just need to tighten that. Yes. And then you use the wrench. Weapons complete. Suppose it's time to go and see the doctor. No, wait. Why is the... the closer to Dr. X first? What did I get the other stuff for? Oh... I have the soul blade there. Oh, maybe like I had a few options. I hope I did the right. And I can kill that faster. Should get closer. Okay. Oh, how I want to kill this one. Should I... Shouldn't get too close without a weapon. He can't see me, but he can still hear me. Okay. So, attack? Wouldn't stand a chance. He'll just kill me again. I need a weapon. So now I can... Use... Oh? You feel a sharp scratch? A sub? Do you believe in karma? See in hell? He deserves nothing. Yes. He deserves no words. Doctor's body. He finally got what he deserved. I hope he rots in hell. I just saved this girl's life. But why do I still feel so angry? And I her. Let her go. He would have killed me, like the others, the animal. You, you gave him uh. what he deserved. No, he deserved worse. Are you? They call me the cat lady. They call me the cat lady. Now get out of here. Call the police. Yes. I'm going home. Not smart, really, to give out your name. 